Hello everyone. I'm very sorry that I can't be with you in person today. I would absolutely love to be there with you. Uh, unfortunately, I'm stuck here on a writing retreat, uh, but I'd like to try and contribute in some shape or form to your discussions today. And I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to talk briefly to you uh, about the Pilot UK Peatland Code. I am the research manager for the IUCN UK Peatland Programme and I'm on the steering group of the Peatland Code, having led the DEFRA Payment for Ecosystem Service pilot project that led to the development of the code. However, I'm doing this presentation today solely in my position as a Professor of Interdis uh, Interdisciplinary Environmental Research at Birmingham City University. I hope the presentation today will provoke uh, some thoughts, some feedback, some discussion, uh, and uh, any insights that emerge from that discussion, I will be very pleased to hear. Uh, please do contact me, uh, and uh, let's work out how we can work together to inform the development of the code during this, its pilot phase. So as we're all acutely aware of in this room, the UK's peatlands are vitally important for the whole of UK society and they urgently need funding to protect their unique wildlife and to enable them to continue providing the UK with drinking water and protection against climate change. Peatlands are the UK's largest store of carbon, holding almost as much carbon as all the trees in the UK, France and Germany combined. Peatlands absorb and store carbon slowly over millennia, but in their modified state, they can release their carbon rapidly. Around 80% of UK peatlands have been modified in some way. In the past, healthy peatlands were not valued for the natural services that they provide to society and were often drained and damaged in other ways, losing carbon to the atmosphere. But in recent years, restoration techniques have been developed and used across the UK to revegetate bare peat and block drainage ditches and gullies. This helps recreate healthy peat bogs that can lock up carbon from the atmosphere, provide clean water, and provide a haven also for wildlife once again. A commission of inquiry on peatlands back in 2011 identified a target of getting 1 million hectares of modified peatland back into good condition by 2020. Much of the early work has focused on revegetating, bare, eroding and gullied peat, where there is particularly strong evidence for the carbon, biodiversity and water quality benefits of restoration. This presents an opportunity for the business community to help meet this urgent funding need and demonstrate tangible benefits to their UK stakeholders and customers. So, we are piloting the UK Peatland Code, a voluntary standard for sponsoring peatland restoration projects in the UK on the basis of their climate and other benefits. It's designed to ensure the highest environmental standards and assurances on the carbon and other benefits of this work. It gives guidance to those undertaking restoration and gives sponsors the confidence that their contribution is really making a measurable, verifiable and lasting difference to UK peatlands. Now the Peatland Code only applies to modified peatlands where landowners and sponsors wish to turn sites that are losing carbon into healthy peat bogs that can absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere once more. It doesn't attempt to prescribe management across all of the UK's peatlands. In restored sites, management will be restricted to restoration management. However, these re restrictions will not apply to the rest of the land on an estate. This is important because it offers a targeted way for landowners to repair the parts of their land that are in worst condition, whilst retaining the full range of management options across the rest of their land holding. For business, sponsoring peatland restoration can enhance their brand integrity and value, deliver corporate social responsibility objectives, and contribute strategically to the long-term protection and enhancement of some of the UK's most iconic landscapes. At this point, this is a sponsorship opportunity, but it may be possible in future to use carbon in corporate carbon accounting, 
uh, or to sell this on the international voluntary carbon market. This is about putting a value on the benefits of sustainable land management. It's not about privatizing nature or handing control of the natural environment to big corporations. Farmers and other landowners retain all the same rights that they did before. The only difference is that they must manage the land in ways that might restore damaged areas. Paying for peatland restoration is about putting a price on all the benefits that society values from these landscapes, not just the number of sheep, trees or bags of peat compost that they can produce. Paying for the carbon and biodiversity and water benefits of peatland restoration enables farmers and landowners to negotiate a fair price for the benefits that we as society want them to provide, supporting nature and rural communities together. If you want to find out more about the Peatland Code uh, or how you can help us uh, in this endeavour, or if you've got feedback about what we're trying to do and you want to uh, feed into this and influence what we're doing, then please do get in touch. You can find out more about the code itself on this website or you can contact me directly uh, using these details. I look forward to engaging with you in more debate on this, hearing your views and working together with you in future as we develop this and mould this during this its pilot phase. So enjoy the rest of your day, have a good one, and I wish I was there with you. Take care.